Over 40 organizations and 20 high schools from across the country gathered for the first ever National Youth Symposium. The event was held this morning by the Ministry of Youth and Sports with the aim of bringing together the country's various youth and sports-based organizations. Chief Executive Officer Marconi Leal Jr. says the meeting sought to familiarize the organizations with the roles and responsibilities of the ministry. When we took, um, took over the ministry, we, we noticed that there was a key opportunity in terms of leveraging the opportunities that we have with stakeholders in the country. And when I talk about stakeholders, in terms of the Department of Youth Services, there's a lot of organizations out there doing different programs in the country, but the Department of Youth Services is the government's organization um, that should be leveraging those opportunities and defining that strategy, that policy, and supporting these stakeholders in terms of the priority. And the needs-based assessment where we interviewed over 7,000 Belizeans a few months ago, youth, um, there's some key things that we want to achieve, but we cannot achieve that alone at the Department of Youth Services. We need our key stakeholders to support us in that. And that support, according to the Director of the Department of Youth Services, Kevin Cadle, is imperative for the development of the country's youth. He says that a part of tackling the needs of youth includes working with both the private and public sector agencies. The first priority is to get a team to come on board to do two things. One, we want to develop a national youth sector strategy framework plan and secondly we want to develop a national youth in development action plan and uh, the process for doing those is to coordinate with other youth agencies bring them together so that we could synchronize our efforts and ensure that we maximize on uh, what is out there and not just what the department is doing for the betterment of young people in this country we do not have a sector strategy for youth in this country and we do not have an action plan for young people in this country in terms of a national plan. So we need to build both of those. Apart from hoping to improve the coordinated efforts of youth development, the Ministry is also working to enhance sports in Belize. Director of the National Sports Council, Ian Cal, explained that as the National Sports Regulating Body, the Council is working to ensure it provides adequate support to the various sporting associations. Now what we're seeing is that once there is inclusivity, once we work along close and much more can get accomplished, there's a lot that that the associations and federations can benefit from the National Sports Council once they are registered, once they keep us in the loop and once we know what is going on with sports in the, in the country. Um, we have presented our incentives, we have presented our plan and this symposium will add more to what we want to do when it comes to sports in the country and to work along with the, more closely with the associations and federations. We have also invited uh, the business community, the stakeholders, um, those who we want to work closely with. Many years ago there was some tax breaks that was created for businesses to contribute more to sports that for some reason or the other has died significantly. We want to revive that. We want to ensure that the business community is more involved. CEO Liel says that one of the main goals of the symposium was to develop a compact plan that can be implemented to uplift the nation's youth. This youth symposium, it's what that's one of the key goals and objectives to understand what it is that we want to achieve and work together for the benefit of youths in Belize. And then I, I could say also in, a, in, the, in the same case for sports, we have all the federations across the country, we have the National Sports Council, but there's an opportunity there for us to collaborate. And like the team says, it's building partnership. We need to bridge the gap for the betterment of youths and sports in the country. Vigil Alvarez, Love News.